Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, as promised, I've got the um, Hearthstone deck tracker video that I was gonna show you. Bear in mind that this is for Mac, um, although I do think the Windows one's very, very similar to, to this to install, etc., etc., and fairly easy. So let's go through it. So I've got two um, links in the comments box below. The first link will take you to this one here okay this page here so if we have a look at this this basically is the page it will come up to uh, and it just tells you a little bit about it and how it works etc etc so um, if we just enlarge this okay and we have a look at the actual screen that's going to come up um, this has been updated so some of the stuff that's on this page is not necessarily going to be on your actual half -tone, half -tone, uh, track decker but uh, there will be other stuff and it basically it just explains everything um, in simple terms of what it does so you've got your deck over on the right hand side over here what cards have been played what haven't you've got the opponent's uh, deck over here and again as he plays his cards they will come up and again you can save those cards to yours uh, to your uh, Hearthstone um, deck tracker and then upload it onto Hearthstone so you can play your opponent's card unless uh, you know again you're not going to get all his cards more likely because most games don't go through everybody's uh, card but if it does it'll give you the full deck list if not you'll have to make up the rest as and when and they're pretty f fairly simple to work out so that basically tells you everything about it okay so you know we've got death rattle minions how many he's played we've got spells how many he's played Cthune if he's playing Cthune if he's not playing Cthune Cthune won't come up that little eye won't, won't be there um, your spells your, uh, your death rattle minions they will always be there um, and on the new one and again I'll show you later on there's a um, a little, a little, um, I thought it was a ninja mask, but it turns out it's a gravestone. Basically, for every minion you play and they play that gets killed, it just lets you know how many have died during that game. And there's also an, uh, a murloc, a little murloc there. And again, you'll play a murloc, but that won't go and turn up in the little uh, number until it dies. So if you're playing anything happens, you know how many Murlocs um, you've got. Okay, this is what the uh, deck manager is going to look like. And again, I'll show you where that is and how that is uh, in, in a bit. Okay, so basically this page, you don't really need, this is just an interest page. You don't really need this one. The page you need is uh, this one here. Okay, this is the second link in my description. Okay, um, if you're watching this in a few months time and it's been updated uh, and you go to this page, it will update it um, after you install this one anyway. And you can set that up for automatic um, updates uh, from then on in, which is what I had to do. So don't worry about it. If it takes you to this page and it's not been updated, it will update for you. Okay, all you simply do is you hit the download button and Bob's your uncle, uh, 85 megabytes later, you will have it. So let's just go out of this, shrink that back down. If we go into my finder, and we're going to my documents. This little icon over here, the HS tracker will pop up. All you simply do is you right click on it, open it, because if you just double click on it, it won't open because it's not an Apple product. Apple will go, no, can't do that. So you've got to right click on it, press the open, and then it will go into the installation. Uh, simply allow that to happen. And um, it'll ask you, do you want an automatic updates? So say yes, yada, yada, yada it's installed okay I put it then down on my task manager down the bottom here and I've got that down there at any one time so brilliant that's how you install it um, when you open it up it's going to look like this so we can get rid of this now so it'll have your uh, and it'll always come up on top of everything that you've got so this is the last deck that I uh, that I had um, and it tells you everything you need to know about it. So if you're, you're not sure about something, and it, it tells you um, top deck, 67%, and, to, uh, and it tells you all the percentages of you picking it up, etc., etc. So, um, I mean, it's just an awesome bit of kit. I didn't know I did that. I've literally just seen that. Um, but there you go. So um, let's go over to um, Hearthporn. Let's find a deck that we want to do. So if we just hit the Home button. So we've just gone over to uh, Hearthporn. We found this deck here. It's uh, an Evolve Shaman, a detailed guide. But all I want to do is I actually want to load this deck up into my Hearthstone tracker. So we simply click on it. Um, it comes up like that. So that's now on, um, on top. We go up to decks and we go to our deck manager. Get the deck manager up and running. Let's move this over here so we can see it. These are all the decks that I've used so far. To simply um, set a, um, a new deck up, all you do is you go to add. 
we want to use the HST, uh, the HS Tracker Deck Builder. So we click on that, and then we go down. This one's going to be a Shaman. So we go down a Shaman, click on Shaman, press OK. Now this comes up. Okay, so we'll just move this over here. Enlarge just a smidge. Okay, and it gives you everything that you need to know. So the first thing we can look over here, we've got uh, it's got two evolves. So evolve is a one mana. So we click on the one mana, it makes it easier. Two evolves. We click twice on that. Dead fucking easy. And lightning bolt. So two lightning bolts. Where the fuck is lightning bolt? It's surely a. Uh, there it is. There. Two lightning bolts. Two spirit claws. One two. Um, two tunnel drogs. And we're on to the two mana ones. And we have a uh, mortal and a golem. Uh, Maelstrom, Maelstrom, sorry, and a, uh, a, a totem golem. And to our threes, we've got a Hex, Feral Spirit, and a Lightning Storm, and Mana Tide is fucking loads of those ones. So, what did I say? Two uh, Feral Spirits, uh, two Hexes, uh, Mana Totems that I see, yeah, and Lightning Storms times two, which takes down to four, Master of Evolution. Where the hell is he? Here he is. It's all in alphabetical order, so it's nice and easy to find with just one of them, and then two things below. So we hit up for the five things from below. What? Oh, sorry, it's a, it's a six mana. My bad. I'm wondering why I couldn't find it. There it is. Things from below. So two of them bad boys. Over to the neutral cards. Click on neutral, and we go to Blood Mage. It's a two mana. Should be at the top here. Blood Mage. There it is. There. Thalnos. Two of Sword Drakes. Got straight up to five. Uh, should be at the top here. Two of them. Uh, two Doppelgangsters, which is a five. Let's just scroll down. Doppelgangsters. There they are. There. Two of them, and a Nubian Prophet, which is six mana. Again, it's all. In Alphabetical order, new view and profit one and two. And that's our deck. Okay, we simply go to save. We're gonna name this the same name they've called it over here, so it's an evolve shaman. So evolve Shaman. Oh, shaman. And we're gonna save it. And that's now saved to it. So we've got evolve shaman, it's down here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to upload it to Hearthstone. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of, um, let's get this up and running. We're going to need our deck manager over here so we can see it. I'm going to go on to Hearthstone. Like I said, deck manager must be open for it to work with Hearthstone. So we've got Hearthstone up and running. Now um, I'm going to need to shrink down the screen so I can see the Hearthstone and, and the other, uh, the, the, the uh, tracker as well. It's been really slow, internet's been extremely slow. Here we go, all right, let's just shrink that down. Options, let's go to not full screen, it's on full screen at the moment, so we wanna take that off full screen. That shrinks it down. Let's just shrink it a little bit more to about there. Brilliant, okay, so we're up running, okay. Now the way we upload a deck from our Hearthstone manager to Hearthstone itself. So we go into my collection, click on that. And again, it's been really, really slow. Apologize for this, my internet's been extremely slow. So this is what you're gonna do. You go new deck, click onto a new deck as if you were gonna create a new deck. This is a shaman, so we click on our shaman. We open it up, we choose it, and then we choose it again. So we can actually start putting cards in. But I don't want you to put any cards in whatsoever. I just want you to go to here where it says uh, Export HS. Uh, make sure you click on the one you want, which is this one, and it should start. Boom, 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 loading the deck up. Okay, so it's now uh, exporting the deck from your deck manager into Hearthstone good to go. The only thing it won't do, it won't um, export the name that you've named it, so you'll have to uh, um, enter the name, which we'll do in just a second. That's the last one thing from below. It says OK. Click on OK. It's now loaded. And what we're going to do is click on that and go Evolve. Oh, 
Evolve Shaman. Uh, we're going to convert it to a standard deck because that allows us to use it on both um, wild and so there it is there. It's lo locked and loaded. We can now get rid of this. No, we can't. We need to, uh, we want to use it. So, so um, we're on Dirty Paladin at the moment, which is the deck we used last time. What we want to do is we want to click on our Evolve Shaman. I want to click use, but it's not allowing me to do that. So the very easy way to do that is we simply right click, use, changes it over. Okay, we can now put that away. We can now make our screen um, full yet again. Uh, go to full screen. Thank you very much. Out of there, out of there. Uh, we simply go into play. And we're up and running. So we're up and running. Uh, we're up against another fellow shaman. See what he's got. It tells me I'm going to get Master of Evolution. You that already. So there it is there. And the rest, uh, it takes the number off them. So Tunnel Shrog, I'll keep hold of that. Evolve, I'll keep hold of that. Uh, thing from below, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to keep hold of a lot. Uh, Master of Evolution, I probably didn't want to keep hold of that. Okay, like I said, I'm only just going to show you basically what it does so his first card tunnel trog he throws it down there it is over here uh he's played it it's now um coming up as part of his deck i'm also going to play my tunnel trog and i'm going to pass a turn he's probably going to lightning bolt my ass um and clear he didn't clear it okay that's good that's that's a good thing i don't have lightning bolt either so that's not a good thing um but I do have Spirit Claws. Um, let's just... Um, come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes! Oh, so we're going to coin out this one. Um, we can't clear that because he's got the taunt away, which is unfortunate. So we're just going to go for face for now. Uh, he needs to get rid of this guy here, the uh, air totem. Uh, and he's desperately wanting to get rid of that. But then he also needs to get rid of... Oh, and he's going to go and throw that bad boy. What's the chance of me getting one of them? That'd be nice. And he's going to get rid of mine. So that really puts it in his favor. So there we go. So I've had a minion die. It's now over here. It's come up as one. He's had one minion die. It's come up over there. He's going to have another minion die in a minute. Motherfucker. Um, I still really can't do a hell of a lot. Um, I'm going to take some more pain here before I can turn things back around. Um... And you can profit started to reduce it by one. So, I mean, we've got some good cards coming. Master of Evolution, so that, that's that's all right. It's not, not going to do what I, exactly what I want it to do at this stage of my life. So we're still uh, up and running, and uh, we can now clear that, and we can get our thing from below down, which is a taunt, which should just really stem the flow of blood. That's, so that's it. That's all I've got. I hope that was helpful. And until next time, enjoy the game. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments in, in the comment box below. And if I'm not too hungover, I'll get back to you. Hit the like button and subscribe if your hands aren't painted on. This will allow me to keep me and my family well fed, stocked up on beer and wine, on time with the mortgage, and therefore massively help with the overall longevity of my content creating. You can also follow me on Patreon. Being a patron is super easy. Your pledge will be monthly and you can edit it or cancel at any time. If I go quiet for a month and ya yeah, feel ripped off then just abuse the shit out of me. This is different to Kickstarter, which is more about seeing one grand vision come to fruition. This platform is about a long game and I bloody love that. Thanks heaps for hanging out and having a laugh and your much appreciated support. And as always until next time, enjoy the game.